Hello there ladies and gentlemen, this is the Big Man Boisterous coming to you with some Team League Tenacity out of the map, Outpost. Up here in the top right hand corner we have the team consisting of Mark Ronks as the Yellow Protoss, Winterborn RH as the Pink, as the pink or Off-White Terran, Jason X as the Orange Terran, and finally Top Madness as the Green Terran. And they're announcing Easy Peasy, Cheesy, and Wheezy? I don't think Mark Rocks quite knew what he wanted to say there. Down here in the bottom left-hand corner, we have their enemies Thirst, the Purple Terran, Stu Pit, the Red Protoss, Karn, the Blue Zerg, and finally Death Scythe, the Light Blue Protoss. Uh, as this game starts off, nobody's nearly going for anything out of the ordinary. Both of the pro uh, they're all looking like they want to wall off, except for Winterborn and uh, Jason X. They they don't want to do it. This, this SCV decided to go halfway to the wall off, and then he was like, Nah, nah, I don't want to walk anymore today. I'm just going to drop my supply depot right here in the middle of the base where it makes kind of no tactical sense. Huh. Why is this supply depot just here? I mean, like, going all the way to the wall off would make sense because, you know, you get the wall off, and staying here would make sense because you don't lose as much mining time. But just stopping there... I don't, I don't quite know the point of that. It's kind of like how he wanted to go to the wall off, but then he was like, nah, I'm going to lose too much mining time, so they dropped it right there. But, uh, anyway, other than my rant, we have Death Scythe going for a gateway, um, a fast expand out of Karn. This was a 14 hatch, so uh, that's an interesting strategy. I'm going to try to get my dog to stop growling now. Be quiet. Alright, uh, yeah, we have Thirst going for a barracks, nothing abnormal coming out of anybody really. We have Stupid going for a gateway, so nobody's going for anything super cheesy so far. Normally pot timed, uh, normally timed cybernetic score out of Mark Rocks. Barracks from Top Madness, barracks from Jason X, who's looking like he's going for a tech lab rush, so I expect to see some mass reaper play or mass, uh, Mass Marauder play, and it looks like he is going to scout it. Did he scout it? I think he scouted it. Man, if he, if he drops a bunker right now, there's nothing out here to see a bunker, and that's going to be really, really awful for Karn, and there the bunker starts going down, and I don't think anybody's going to be prepared to uh, to deal with this kind of bunker rush from the team in the bottom left-hand corner. So, yeah, this is, this is not going not gonna to end up well for Karn. As we do see Reapers starting to get produced, so this is going to be a Reaper rush, a Reaper bunker rush, which is very, very dangerous, because Reapers have that plus infantry attack that makes them super effective against units like Zerglings, Zealots, and Marines, which are the tier 1 units that most people are going to have out at this point. Uh, looks like this Marine is going to start trying to do some damage, but I don't think it's, I don't think it's quite going to work. I don't think he's going to be able to kill this, uh, this bunker in time. Karn is coming down with all of his drones to try to take this out. He is, they are going to manage to kill off the SCV, no problem. Oh, the SCV jumps in. But, uh, yeah, I don't think this SCV is going to live for that much longer. The Reaper does get into the bunker and he snipes off the Marine. Now he's just going to start sniping off all the drones. But this actually, this bunker might go down. I don't know. This, <laughs> there's no more guys to repair this bunker. There's not a whole lot going on here. And, oh, the mule comes down. Is that Jason's mule? Yeah, there is. And another <laughs> mule? Did he drop two mules? No, that's Tom Madness's mule. So this is a this is a team bunker rush right here. They all want this thing to succeed. That's actually kind of funny. And is this yep, there's Winterborns. So uh, we do have the entire entire mule pack over here repairing this bunker. Everybody has sent in a mule except for Mark Rocks, but that's because Mark Rocks is Protoss. It does look like Mark Rocks is going for a Twilight Council rush, so... Man, is this going to be like a really fast Blink Stalker push? I doubt it because he doesn't have a whole lot of gateways to back it up. The Warp Gate is just about to wrap up for Mark Rocks. This is a really bad situation for our Zerg player because nobody wants to send units to help him. Like, I mean, you, you have these, these units could probably wipe out that bunker, but you know... Wait, wait for the expansion to die. That's the good time to get ready to go take out that bunker. You never want to actually save the Zerg expansion. Uh, uh, and apparently, Zerglings that just hatch out of eggs counter Reapers. 
<laughs> that's just bad luck out of, uh, that's just bad luck for Jason X. As three of his Reapers do go down, but he is going to get the salvage off on that bunker, so that entire attack cost him about 200 resources. Actually, 175 resources and 150 gas, which is not that expensive of an attack to snipe a fast expand by Zerg. Um, and that's why you should always have an overlord positioned above your hatchery before it hatches, so that you don't get bunker rushed like that. Because that's just really, that's just bad. Not not good. He did manage to keep his queen alive, though. And he is not giving up on this expansion. He is going to want to take this again. Stupid looks like he's getting ready for an attack, but it is not going to come out nearly in time. As Cloak is about to finish for Top Madness. And we are seeing the Dark Shrine out of Mark Rocks. So it looks like our friendly Clan RH team is going for the Mass Cheese. We had a Reaper, Bunker Rush, uh, looks like Mass Marine tank out of uh, Winterborn RH, so that he's the only one that's going for a kind of non-cheesy strategy, but let's all be honest, I mean, Marines are the cheesiest unit in the game, alright, let's just be honest here. It does look like the, uh, the Banshees are popping out now, so, and the Dark Templars are already in the base, and he put his Robocore right up there, and Death Scythe has left the game. So this was easy peasy cheesy and wheezy. Still not sure how uh, how he feels about this being wheezy. This Evo chamber is gonna get sniped off before it can actually pop. Or, well, right after it pops, and there's not gonna be anything coming out of that Evo chamber. This hatchery is gonna go down. There's no detection out for our blue pro for our blue zerg. Uh, cannons are going down for stupid, but I'm not sure even how useful those are gonna be. Looks like he's gonna move right on over to our uh, to the Protoss, and he's going to be able to see these cannons pretty easily. And he's probably gonna snipe off all of them. I'd be surprised. He might not get these two. Actually, he is gonna get this one uh, and this one. He managed to split his DTs pretty nicely there. And do we have Banshees yet? Where are the Banshees? I knew that the Banshees existed. What happened to those Banshees? Up oh, there, are the Banshees. All right, well. Yep, this is going to be what I call the mass cheese strategy. One Dark Templar did sadly die to this oddly cased, oddly placed cannon. I'm surprised he didn't just put like three cannons in his mineral line just to try to stop them from getting sniped. But yep, and there, there goes the forge. This is really not a good situation for our bottom left hand team. As this guy, as uh, as Thirst gets pushed in by the pink uh by the pink mass marine tanking player. Uh, looks like we do have some stutter step micro because you need to micro against buildings. Buildings are very dangerous targets. But yeah, I don't I don't think there's gonna be any sort of massive comeback out of this and Thirst has left the game. Well guys, this has been Boisterous bringing you uh, one of a, a 4v4 game sent in to me by uh, by Mark Rocks, who is one of my clan mates over at Clan RH. You guys can check us out at rhgaming.com. Uh, we are a, we are accepting all levels of play. Really, anybody that wants to join, we are going to we are dabbling into Diablo 3, and we are going to have a pretty large Diablo 3 section once that game comes out. But anyway, guys, if you want more games by Bo if you want more games commentated by Boisterous, you can check out my YouTube channel at youtubecom user sc 2 And if you want your games commentated by Boisterous, you can send your games into boisterous sc 2 at gmail.com. This is Boisterous signing out.